Morning guys, NJ Fishing Maniac here over at uh, Pompton Lakes, uh, New Jersey, fishing Pompton Lake again. You guys know I'm after that catfish that's uh, over 10 pounds. Um, so I'm going to give it a try. I got three rods again. I'm doing three different things today. Okay. I stopped over at uh, Tackle and Field over at, um, in, in Wanakew there, right on Ringwood Ave. Um, <clears throat> They got the best, they got the best stuff, everything. Everything you need, I mean, shiner, shad, different catfish bait, all the hooks, all the weights, everything. As you can see, this is their, I'm wearing their shirt, Tackle and Field Outfitters. Um, you know, if, if you're from North Jersey, you gotta check that place out. You know, even the, even the bait buckets. You know, they're right at, they're right at 81 Ringwood Ave. <clears throat> Monocue, so. You got to give them a give them a try, man. Go there; they're, they're the, the one. Of the, they're the best place around, in my opinion. They're the best tackle shop around. Um, so I got a uh, I got from there. I got from <clears throat> from tackle and field. I got the uh, wild cat cheese. So we're gonna give this a try. It's a uh, it's pre molded catfish bait. Um, four bucks, four bucks for this whole bag there. Um, I also got a dozen shiners in that in that tackle and field bucket. Right in that tackle and field bucket, I got a dozen shiners, <clears throat> and I also got uh, the guy Ryan there. He's the best. He gave me um, I don't know dozen dozen and a half dead shad. So I'm gonna throw uh, throw one of them out on the hook. I'm gonna throw one of those uh, wild cat cheese balls out on the hook. I'm gonna throw a shiner on the other hook. See what happens with that. Um, but uh, if you haven't yet, even if you're not from North Jersey. Um, give them a, give them a try. Like if you're going to fish, you know, Monksville Reservoir, or you're, you're fishing somewhere around the area, stop at their place because they got two floors. They got hunting stuff, fishing stuff, all the, out, all the outdoor stuff that you need over there at uh, Tackle and Field. So, um, let's give this a try. I'm not using chicken liver today. I do have some in the car, some garlic, uh, chicken liver, <clears throat> but I'm going with, uh, Shad on one rod, dead shad on one rod, a catfish ball on another, and a shiner on another. And maybe I'll pick up a, you know, bass or a pike, you never know. So I I, uh, I lighten my weight up a bit on that. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, I'm still going after that 10 pound plus catfish. So uh, see if the bullheads can stay away today. I'd love to catch them, but you know, I got a goal here set in mind. So NJ Fishing Maniac, uh, make sure you subscribe to my page. Um, you know, give me some tips as well. You know, we can learn from each other. And uh, hit that subscribe button, get notifications. And uh, don't forget to uh, check out Tackle and uh, Field Outfitters over in Wanakil. Best place around. All right, guys, we got a fish. Well, it was taken and it still is. I think we got a, I'm gonna set the hook. big but it was taken well that is a uh, <clears throat> that's a big white perch that is that is a big don't open your flare your gills on me buddy mm -hmm. Huh. He was taking drag. That is a big white perch. That's probably probably 11 inches long, something like that. And he uh, took that chicken liver, garlic chicken liver ball. Well, that was fish number one. So the first fish was a white perch, a big white perch too. Anywhere else, that'd be good eating that one. That was that was a nice fat white perch. That was on the uh, garlic chicken liver in a in a in a sack. Hmm. Hoping to avoid them by using a sack and making it bigger. 
But I guess there's decent sized white perch in here. That's why the pike fishery, I guess, is so good in this pond, this lake. A lot of little trickling unravels and then they stop and then they go no fast pulls yet that white perch that took the line just like a catfish would then he must have been swimming in on me because I thought I didn't have him on so I'm still waiting for a, a good pull I know how the bullheads play alone, but it doesn't mean they're hooked up to it. They could be holding three quarters of the sack without the hook. So guys, only that one big white perch so far. It wasn't a white bass. Um, I looked it up, it's, it's different. That was a white perch and the average is seven to 10 inches. And I gotta tell you, that white perch was pushing, pushing like, 10 to 11 inches. So that was a big white perch. But that's it so far. Nothing else going on. Sitting here waiting. You know the deal for catfishing. Just waiting for a good pull. The wind's starting to pick up, which is a little annoying. <clears throat> Might not be windy on the other side of town, but where I am, the wind's blowing right at me and to the left so I guess that would be southeast we'll see what happens I'm gonna give it to like noon today started a little before 10 we'll see what happens Well, good, good thing their anchor wasn't down because they came pretty damn close. That guy just told me that two weeks ago somebody pulled a 30 pound catfish out of here. <laughs> I told him I was catfishing. I said I got one perch like 11 inches long. 30 pound catfish out of here? What? That makes me want to fish here even more. There goes that chipmunk again. Well, guys, this damn wind is annoying, but I'm going to give it another hour and see what happens. Maybe it'll take that Chad. I'm hoping. I'm hoping.
ditch. Let's, uh, you know what? This would be good if you're fishing 80 feet of water for big cats. Um, I guess uh, I could fish for white perch while I'm waiting for my catfish rods to go off there. Might just be a white perch day. Very easy. Just wait, just yank. Hey buddy, left me my worm so I can still catch another one while I wait for cat. Bucko. Shad. Sorry. Shad. Well, you can eat perch, right? Huh. Look at this. A little, a little yellow perch this time. How about that? A little yellow perch this time. They're not all white in here. Come on, buddy. Oh, you know, I wanted to show everybody that you little guy. You were like, ow, fuck. That hurt. Let me clean you up in a shiner container. No. No, I can't get you out. That's good. Yep. Huh. Now, can I get you out? I can. Literally. Little yellow perch. These guys probably get inhaled out there by the pike. These are perfect size for them. That's it, pal.
this thing is as shiny as it gets. Huh. So I am gonna freeze it. Alright? I'm gonna freeze it. Look at this. It wasn't even touched. This thing wasn't even touched. So I'm gonna freeze it. Alright guys. I'm gonna let these shiners go. Huh. Go get eaten. Um well, I mean, you got all the white perks you want and the yellow perks snuck in there. But, um, no catfish today. I didn't get any catfish today. I'm on the hunt. Now that that guy in the boat told me that some guy caught a 30-pounder two weeks ago, I am on the hunt. So I have to find out where that was caught because I want to try a different spot. Um, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you would. And I would appreciate it. And maybe next time we'll catch some nice catfish. I am still trying. So I might get 20 white perch in an hour. But I'm still trying for them catfish. All right, guys. So NJ Fishing Maniac for today. Until I see you next time. Is gone.